in terms of solar physics, uh, we're making great strides because we have this, this better instrumentation, these wonderful observations that are coming online and, and we continue to you know, put uh, better and better instruments up in space, which is, is critical to our understanding. But we're also getting better at modeling and you know, simulations are now being created that can uh, you know, allow us to see what's happening inside the sun. Um, and we can also actually see inside the sun through methods. But I think between better observations, better data, um, better simulations, better modeling, um, we're actually, I predict, it's just a, an opinion, but I think we're going to be able to um, really forecast uh, fantastic uh, to really, really uh, good levels in the next 10, 20 years. Space weather, understanding space weather, uh, I think we're going to reach, you know, the point where we're at now in, in understanding Earth's weather. I know some people think that we don't do a great job <laughs> in predicting some storms, but, but it, it's a very complicated system here on Earth, just like it is the Sun-Earth system is also complicated. And I think we're, we're not too far from getting to the point that we are in predicting weather here on Earth. I think we're going to be able to, um, in the, hopefully in the next 20 years, be able to get to that point in, in space weather as well. So I think that's one area that we're you know, going to really see great advancements in um, because we're able to, to provide these beautiful observations. Um, but I also think you know, in, term, in general science, I think there are many areas that we're going to um, really make advancements in. You know, particle physics, uh, I think there's some incredible things going on in that area. And that was actually one area that I was interested in. It's funny because you know you have astronomy, which is the very large, the macro, and then I was also considering going into you know particle physics, which is the smallest. <laughs> so the two extremes was very interesting to me. Um, but and I know medicine is you know of course making great strides. I I, I think it's an exciting time to be in science, um, in very in a variety of fields. Uh, but I think because our technology is allowing us to, you know, develop better tools, and I think. For people that are just now entering into, into some sort of science, I think it's super exciting. Even though, to be honest, funding for science can be challenging and tough. Uh, so it's important uh, for the general population to keep uh, in mind how important the funding is so that we can continue to make advancements. But um, overall, I think it's a really exciting time. In the next 50 years, I think, um, I, I can't even really imagine what kind of discoveries will be made at, at that time scale because I think things are happening so fast.